sour apples and snakes. Poetry with bite. I think we've all felt that. That blue that you painted. I thought I forgot that shade of me, but you brought it right back in canvas. I know you must have felt that shade more times you care to remember, but you made gold. You made it glitter on the canvas. I know you must have felt that too, but maybe not as much as me. I know your gold was different to mine, dipping between separate shades, new shades, old shades to mine. It's unfortunate our medicine was different. I remember saying that when I was introduced to your grooves. I hoped someone would say we'd save you if we could, but I remember your blues. I remember trying to imagine the shades you must have felt daily and how your separate tones waged war on your easel because your gold and your blue was a conflict. A constant spattering conflict, unrecognisable to a ten-year-old, but now I'm more familiar with your shades, just not the escalations of it. I remember seeing you for the first time. Flecks of gold in your red hair and blues and greys galore. You didn't smile. I remember that. And I wondered if I would in your shoes. I wondered if your white pasty skin would crease for me as I struggled to find the gold I remembered as a child. I wondered if you had blue blood because I knew how expensive paint was, my pocket money, unable to find the vials of your blue and I still struggled to find your gold. Now, my heart beats out a variety of shades, each layered like paint charts that are pushed to my frayed fingertips and toes. I beat out oceans for you, Vincent, because I fear that you couldn't. We've all felt that, I say, staring at every drop injected onto your canvas, colouring navy where purity once lived. And I'm still struggling to find my shade, to find my lighter tones some days, but I often find them in laughter. And I hope you found them too. I hope the gold I once saw still glitters like you wanted. I hope it shines like the smile we never saw, like rays of light colouring every untouched sketchbook. It would remind every artist that no matter the hated shapes or tones, our hearts would only ever beat for gold.